All right, so here we go on now. If removing the king as the head of state of Jamaica means, say, it will afford us the opportunity for have a republic, see? Why do we still need the governor general? Why are we, why are we hearing conversations like the governor general will choose who the ceremonial president is? And why, why would the governor general still be in the mix if we are getting rid of the monarchy in its entirety? Getting rid of the monarchy would mean that we completely abolish and sever every ties there is with the British monarch and stand united as a people forming a republic and then henceforth forming a republic government or getting a republic leader with the consensus of the masses I think that would be a better restart than to have Labour right and PNP coming together. Them couldn't come together for nothing else. And no matter what we are asked them to come together about, they can't come together about things like the constitution. We are gonna benefit either of them, we are going up at the head of things when it's done. Then we unite and stuff like that. But for unite and stand with Jamaica people and say, let's throw out the monarchy once and for all, everything that has to do with it. So the Maroons them throw down the treaty and the Royal Africans them and the Arawak them and all the other stakeholders as we mentioned coming together now and saying, let's start over on our terms as a people. Una go on, like I said, that is an impossible match me and match up, you know. But as we paint the picture plainer, you cannot have a constitution we are going to change to a new one and getting rid of the head of the monarch, which is the new king we are coming. But at the same time, is the governor general going to choose whoever the president of the republic are going to be? Like, going to make that make sense for those that we are looking at and have like a sense about this thing. Yeah. And now we see the maroon and say, all right, based on how we look as well, we just say from the other day, give we a seat round the table because to how we look, Jamaica people look like they know nobody and they're going to just sit down and take this thing as so we are lining up for ourselves too. Jamaica people who open a bomb or rascal at you know, no man, and make we look on and see, say, there's a set of we are guinea pig now for this whole thing, you know. Morning, Jamaica people. Hope everything good with the items so far. Hope your energy is up. You see them robbery are going with Brillium or Brillium, what the fuck it, the, co the, the, the security co guard company name. It feel like a facade. It feel like a facade. It feel like because them want to go to the cashless society. And you don't know it's going to take too long to educate Jamaican people about a cashless society. So the greatest weapon where them are used for Jamaican people right now are fear mongering. Everything where them are do is fear. Them are driving at the hearts of the people. Them forget them results. Them going. So I just said to Jamaican people, say, be alert and be aware and pay attention to this whole a panic button where them are press round with every day. Them get up, I press panic button pan we. Seeing them brilliant, brilliantly, I'm already fucking sitting here. Robbery, they a joke thing. Them are deal with. Greetings, 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 everyone. So. Um, the Maroon community, well, I shouldn't say the Maroon community, I should say the Akompong Maroon community, um, have put out a response to some of the stuff that I said, um, one of their representatives and a couple of things that was mentioned, I want to point out, right? Firstly, the brethren said that the way I am projecting what I am saying is the reason why a lot before me was killed. I would love some explanation from him as to exactly what that means. And the other thing I would love to point out about what he said in his response to what I said is since that 21st of August 2021, 
when I appeared on Richard Curry's doorstep that morning, nothing happened to me at the kinder tree. I came to a compound with what was inside me. That is, I just want to make that clear. And the kinder sign, the one family sign that was wrapped around my body that I was hugging, walking when Richard and his, when Richard, we could have said run left me down at the kinder tree. Seeing? When the rain started falling and I was on the ground wailing and bawling. And the only evidence that was there said them never hear a cry like that before. Seeing? I went back down to a compound three times since that to try to sit with Richard Curry to have an understanding and his pure disrespect. Pure disrespect. And the understanding we want to have is to, to, to acknowledge whether or not the Akompong Maroon's guilty. Seeing? So, yeah, we see the narrative where the item I try to push against Queen Africa, but we know the truth where we carry. And we can't edit it this time around. This time around, the truth have to talk how it's supposed to talk in order to save who forget to save. But that's what I say. So I'm watching a video where I put up and I try to shape narrative around my name and I try to do what I do from the last hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of blood clot years before. It now going to work in other new half yeah. And that we are telling you. Hey, Gammon, Mama G, if you're not fake, come forward. Because we not itch. And we not afraid of no debt argument neither. Fuck you and your debt argument. Yes, and another part of the accompong video that I want to touch on as well is that cockpit country thing because I did not say anything about it don't mean that there is nothing to be said about it. I am not going to waste black people knowledge on social media because we know that social media is a distraction. There are places for us to discuss this thing in the right and proper way. When I saw what was happening in the cockpit country and took that up and myself Tony Rebel was there because it was on the morning when I was going to was going to meet with the Prime Minister. It was on the morning that Tony Rebel said he was coming. He didn't even know that I was doing that. So let me just put that out there clear. When I went to that meeting with Andrew Olness and, and Bounty Killer and Tony Rebel tag along, a tag along, Tony Rebel did tag along with me. Let me just tell you that straight. Bounty Killer was the first one to bow out in the meeting. When Aunt, when Darrell Vaz, them said them I go get alica, helicopter for we fly over cockpit country. And me say, me no want to fly over cockpit country. Me want to go down there. Go amongst the people them. Go hear what I affect them down there for true. Bounty killer was the first one in the meeting for true in the towel. See? And rebel never fully understand what me did a stand up for. Him was only there because it would have looked bad. If him woman did I go turn up. In a cockpit country business. And to be fair to Tony Rebel as well. He was one of them in the early 90s. That was very active in environmental issues. And many other issues. The problem with Rebel is that him throw in the towel. When him never get no support. And Jagima woman like me. And him never stand up with me. See but that is to come. So me can address everybody. Andrew only brought Nepo. In brought all of the environmental people, them the room was filled with cameras. And when him asks for the him, when me walk into the room, that hug there where you have up and you're sitting a push up about me hug up Andrew Olness. Andrew Olness was the one who said all him want from me is a hug. And I knew the way how all the camera them put up in the sky. When him say it, me didn't know say it was going to be used against me if it look like me in bed with Andrew Olness. Andrew Olness no say. Me not in bed with him. Don't a 2019 rebel salute him. Say I was very brave. And when me, when him said to me, said the gay people, them a come a Jamaica if come talk to him. But Jamaica future and him ask me when me must say to them. Andrew Olness asks me when me must when he must say to them. And me tell him say he must make sure say him tell them about the values of Jamaica and the beliefs of Jamaica and that we were not going to bow to no system. And he went and do what you wanna see him doing. And that's why me not lift up half of him case. You understand me not ready for talk about PNP yet. And what PNP do? You understand what I say? So you can always chew up this. The call is unity.
The call is unity. Black unity. Black unity on this island. Black unity. All on board for black unity, for the black family, by extension, black Africa. When black Jamaica unite, black Africa unite. When black Jamaica unite, black Africa unite. For black Jamaica. This is what this is about. No more division. No more split down the middle. One voice. One nation under God advancing the whole human race. Go pick up back a pledge and go look back on the pledge, no man. Jamaican pledge, I pledge to thee, man. My country to serve with humble pride, man. One nation, man. One black love, man. Our time, black people, for unite is our time, black people. For the official unity, the official unity in our family, the official unity in our community, the official dialogue among us as free, free people. You know? Is no. If I don't know a when, if I don't know a when, if I don't know a when, black people in Jamaica, in Africa, in America, black race. We not talk the black race with them patent, you know. Or the black word. We are talking the colored people, dark skinned, melanin people. Atoms matter people. Us people. Suppressed people. People with no leader. Where is the black man leader? Where is the black woman leader? Guns and drugs and prostitution and whoredom. That is all that we will have. And top of the most violent list. Of countries around the world. We were always a united country with love and peace and one love and no worries and no problem, man. Please, make we do it, no man. Make we do it, no man. Unity we are called for. The original unity. Unity. One voice. Jamaican people, wherever you are in the world right now and you can find a way to stop and watch the sitting of the House of Representatives this evening. I think if you are a Jamaican who is concerned about what's happening with the health issues in Jamaica, I think it's based on the guests that they have in the audience. And Mr. Tufton is about to make his presentation. I think all well-thinking Jamaicans should go tune in to the sitting of the House of Representatives. It's happening right now for those who want to find it quickly, you can go to, I think it's PBCJ, or, um, uh, yeah, that public government page, right? They will promote them. Let's go look, go, go search the city of Jamaica House of Representatives. We need to watch them one year. Okay? Yeah, this is for those who are listening on here. We just don't watch the sectoral debate. Christoph Tan, health minister. I'm just want to say to any Jamaican, we really and truly start listen to a Queen Africa voice. Whether you are labor right, PNP, regular Jamaican who just want to vote for a change. You see the next election here we are come up under no circumstances whatsoever. Can you vote in back the Jamaica Labour Party into government? This part of this message is for the loyalists them too. The Labour right government. Because only you will force to vote in back Andrew Olness and, and Christopher Tufton after what Christopher Tufton just said in his sectoral debate just now, our sectoral presentation. 
and to those who are lining up now behind the PNP government, please, I know the passion is high and the urge is clear because we have it indeed for those who put a finger to a ink because we remove the consent from them from early. So they now get no consent from we at no time, at no, at no stage. But for those who are about to give the consent to Mark Golden, remember that the army that is lined up behind Mark Golden is darker, is going to be darker than the army that is lining up behind the outgoing labor right government. It's a serious situation. You find yourself in the middle of Jamaican people and standing up firmly and not firmly with no dirty political intention, but standing up in one voice as a people to defend ourselves once and for all from these lesions that are formed around us to have us in their circle, to be servants to them in very decay way. I want you guys to go back and watch what Christopher Tufton just said about the health of Jamaican people and really and truly look in your real eyes at what is happening, how Jamaican people are eating. Jamaican people are not eating real food. Everybody is drinking alcohol. Everybody is drinking boom. Everybody, everybody is doing everything that is causing Christopher Tufton to use a word like proud in his speech when so much Jamaicans dying from abnormal health conditions. Come on. Look. Man in TikTok. <laughs> yeah, man, we just a stop by for say. Keep your head up, you know. Yeah, man, keep your head up, man. Yeah, it's hot in the background, you know. We are all them, man. We not yield. And as we say, we never had to say everything on social media, so we are take the action to the grounds, isn't me? Yeah. Travel mode, we now, you know, still. Bahamas, see you later. Yeah? Yeah, man, righteousness, exalt nation, man. Sin is a reproach unto any man. And we are 100% to man. Who plan to stand up for the country? Them the COVID videos are for sure, so we up, man. Enough sitting seven o'clock in the free car, dear, yeah, you know. <laughs> but we love ja. Jamaica, our time to stand up on them. Sensible bloggers, sensible TikTokers, sensible bloggers and bloggers and TikTokers. Be real with the thing we are do, cause the government has say right now, they might worry about TikTok. And. So they are must say there is such a thing as Jamaican people. Because are really Jamaican people over TikTok still. Isn't me? Poor Jamaican people, some of them who find out say is an app where monetize and you can make money from it. You have some money loving motherfuckers over here too. Eh? Just over here for the money where they say over here. And as always, that is always some of the reasons why you end up lose platforms like them here. Because you go always have the money grabbing motherfuckers who are go always over here just for the money. They don't care what they do over TikTok just for the money. But I just want to say to the Prime Minister, say, stop worrying about TikTokers and YouTubers and the truth we are leak out on one side around the so. I really and truly pay attention to the heartbreak what you bring to Jamaican people. The wickedness they were going from 2020 to right now, 2023. We didn't even talk about the wickedness we lead up to 2020. We are talking about the wickedness since 2020. You understand what I say? A terrible wickedness come down upon a particular sector of this country. Yeah. Regular Jamaican people. I mean, just want to say, the pressure deep on me in the background, yeah? Everybody I tell me, say, all of those who are worried about the truth, I tell me if you shut up my mouth and stop talk and if me know me I take up on myself and them something they like. Me and a real Jamaican woman for true way. Concerned about my country and say, 
a big alliance farm against Jamaica people and if you turn Jamaica people in a robot and suburb in it and a whole heap of people in bed and, and is getting ready to go with it. This is what I say. So leave the TikTokers and the vloggers and bloggers then, man. We are called some people near me. have one brother when he call himself Jamaica Charles are sitting like us so. up. Them brother they need look into because them letting in PNP you know, have nothing to do with PNP. I just them agendas where they can't use PNP for letting in. I remember now, I have a meeting with Mr. Golden. So, I don't really want to chat about PNP, so till I meet with Mr. Golden. You understand what I say? Because I don't keep not much in a private anymore because when I do it in a private, it's a use against me. So, I report to now, make me know what I'm going for early out. We are what?